Get ready for lots of crying. Just kidding. <laughs> um, they have Subway in a vending machine. That's so cool. Are they trying to be like Japan? <laughs> Just kidding. This is the Mama Pod. It was so convenient and so cool. It just felt like such a VIP area to nurse. And I know it's not, not supposed to change, but I, I changed here and there and obviously left it very clean. Um, this Disney cruise was planned one year in advance. There's so much planning that goes into it, especially that maybe like three months out, there's so many th appointments and reservations you need to book prior to boarding the ship because if you don't do beforehand, it's very unlikely that you'll get your desired time for the Bibbidi Bobbidi Salon, the Princess Gatherings, and other like restaurant reservations. Um, also, I cannot stress this enough, but do not book the spa if you have young kids because you will not have time to go even with a big group of friends and yeah here to warmer weather <laughs> um it was so beautiful i mean it was raining the second we stepped out but um Look how nice the day turned out, and there's our ship! It was so exciting to see, such a beautiful ship, brand new, it just started sailing last year I believe, and if, I don't know if you can see, but there's Tangled in the front of the ship there, or is it the back, I don't know. Anyways, there's um, luggage tags that you get sent, that you put in your luggage, and the people in red will help you pack your luggage, and it will be delivered to your room by like your this is us playing the ship, so exciting. You tell them your name and they announce the family is being welcomed onto the ship, which is really nice. And there are people standing around handing out wands to all the kiddos. And I'm sure if adults want them too, they can grab them. And how beautiful is this? And of course, up there, you can see it light up. Um, with princesses and the lights actually light up for the kiss good night. It happened around 10 p.m. the last time that I caught it. Uh, here's the Arendelle restaurant. Very unthemed. There's so much attention to detail, especially all the paintings and you know the statue there. Very cool. Food was amazing. Asked for ketchup and they brought it out in like a Mickey Mouse shape. This is our view from our room. Um, it was more spacious than I thought it would be because I've been on cruises like during high school and stuff with my parents. And this was a lot of room. Great view, very clean, very nice. Here we are going to the kids club, which kids can go down by slide if they want to. You get a wristband and you are able to keep it for $13 USD at the end of the trip. But that's how they get into kids club. Um, you, get, uh, you need a secret word to pick them up. You can have other people in your party pick them up uh, as long as they know the secret word. Cute. Honestly, it was so fun. Uh, this is where they wash their hands and go to, to the bathroom. And the other side is my princesses. It was so beautiful. I wish I got to experience this from them. There's activities every day for them in here that we can get to set up activities like. I'm um, making arts and crafts and things like that. And they can also tell us where they want the parents to be. I think this one's open to like the, uh, to everyone to use. This part is a nursery. I think it was like nine USD per hour. It wasn't bad. Um, and you can stick them in there until 11 p.m. I think you only get 10 hours of nursery time throughout your whole time on the ship though. And there are the beds, they're cute. Here's one of the restaurants, 1923. 
Um, we were doing the mandatory um, ship safety thing and it was pretty fast. They let us go the second day. We're done explaining stuff. And before we set sail, the dance, the ice cream course. Honestly, it wasn't that good. Um, yeah, we finally got to see the out. And the sailor here was just so cute. The kids were amazed. It's such a magical time, especially around like five, five, six, where they really get to remember and they really feel like get to experience stuff as a little kid. And they're princesses. I think it's a great age for like 10 year olds, like around that age too, where they have a bit more freedom and they feel like they own the ship because they get a lot of time away from the parents. So yeah, that's just my opinion. But how cute. I don't know why, this part of the ship could really feel the motion sickness. Um, the entertainment during dinner was really great. We got to see Olaf, of course, and then Anna and Elsa like, perform later on. The food was okay. I don't know. I guess you get what you get. I think by like third day, we were so sick of the steak. Um, it felt a little repetitive, but... The bread was really good. <laughs> Is anyone else here like trivia? Uh, here are scallops. Uh, it felt like eating boiled scallops. Can you give this a thought? Some of the performances. It's had a really good time just watching, you know, their like favorite princesses up on stage. The one thing I wish I could have filmed was the musical theater performances in the time, especially the first one, which is like um, a Disney adventure. It was so good, but they do not let you film. So I guess if you want to watch, then come on with us. <laughs> Here, the performance of uh, theater, and yeah, and here is the kiss good night. It goes on for quite a while. I was expecting that, but it's very magical and very special to see. And I'm glad it was at 10 o'clock because most kids are asleep by like 12. Though the kids' club is open till 12, and they can stay in there until 12. Here we are at the Hyperspace Lounge. Uh, my youngest was in the nursery and the older one was just in the kids club. And the adults got to go to the Hyperspace Lounge. It was really cool. Their drinks were very sweet. Um, here you can see Fella like we in space. Very cool. It happened every like 15 minutes. And of course, they had the party drinks with the uh, bubble there. It was so much fun and very interactive. Here's what the uh, bunk beds look like. You. you can see the fairy godmother at the top and room for two people on the bunk beds. The and bed. how serene is the ocean. So beautiful. Loved waking up to this. Sorry for my thumb. Um, but we were looking for land. <laughs>
Yeah, I, I don't know what I was doing with the filming here. <laughs> Here we are at the pool, getting some sun and some water. If you go up one more deck, you can find this splash pad, which is very cute. Lots of water spewing out of different things. Here's another deck where you're closer to the ocean, which is really nice to see. It is so nice having family time. Um, and time with our friends on the trip. Our special Here we dinner. Are walking past a Marvel restaurant, which is really cool. Uh, Spider Man comes out, and some other characters come out. Here's a bit of coffee boutique, which was amazing, especially for Camille's age. She got to pick out a dress. Uh, our package was deluxe package was one ninety nine USD, and. She got to uh, they give her a backpack and it was filled with stuff, like accessories and stuff for the uh, appropriate princess that you choose. Here she is, um, the salon stylist I thought was actually She was talking to her throughout the appointment, asking her all the questions about her Yes. What about going on the aqua mouse and the slides upstairs? Have you been on those too? She got glitter in the hair. I think she got one of the best hair spells, which is in a bun and with a tiara at the top. Can and you do she is, how cute. It's going to be a core memory for her. Here they have some dances and stuff for the kids to shake it out and burn some energy. They, I think they have this every day. Here, my youngest one loves the broccoli and chip, and she is so silly. <laughs> we found land! We arrived in the Bahamas! So beautiful that day. And we had a princess appointment, which we got to see all the princesses on board in one little gathering. And each of them talked to her and Do you want to give her a hug? hugged her and they took pictures. It was absolutely magical. And her hair stayed intact from the day before, which is really cool. And we sent the kids off and we went to brunch to Palo Alto, which is highly recommended. They have some of the most simple foods, but um, it was so delicious and we loved eating here. Uh, I would definitely recommend the Eggs Benedict with caviar on top. Anyways, this is us pouring off after brunch and it was such a beautiful day. I'm so glad we got to experience all this before it started to rain later on in the afternoon. Here is Tangle on the ship. Isn't that so cool? I think this is really cool. And here we are in the Bahamas. And here is the spa. Again, I do not recommend people with young kids to come here because we literally had no time. They actually gave us 50% off when we asked because we had a spot in Um This is Pirate Night, which was really cool. This is when they have the fireworks. I wasn't expecting Jack Sparrow to uh, scurry his way down, but look at him go. But the fireworks were beautiful and worth it. It was only me and Camille because Lauren was really tired and her and uh, my husband went to sleep. So me and Camille got to see all this with a bunch of like bubble machines going on around us, which was really fun. I 
I, I just love seeing fireworks and this was such a good spot. I think everyone had a good view of this, which is really nice. Thank you again so much for watching and the next episode will be about the rest of our trip on the Disney Cruise. Um, bye!